for lecturers of the departments in attendance, my two presenters and my fellow students. My name is Ata Oluafemi with matric number 02-55EJ013. And I'll be speaking on the seminar topic, Microbial Springs Improvement for Industrial Use. During the course of my presentation, I shall be guided by the following outline. The introduction, identification of creation of industrial microorganisms, genetic manipulation of industrial microorganisms, and the conclusion. Introduction. A strain is a special line of individuals belonging to a certain race of species and are maintained at a high standard of perfection by selection. This is every set of plants and animals, Falk and Wagner's 1976. More precisely, a strain can be defined as a population of organisms arising from a single organism or pure culture isolate. Taxonomically, a strain can also be defined as a population of organisms that is at least distinguishable from other populations within a particular taxonomy category. They are considered to have descended from the single organism or pure culture isolate, first caught at all 2005. Strains within a species may differ slightly from one another in many ways. Strains have variant prokaryotic types, which include the biovars characterized by biochemical or physiological differences, the morphovars that differ morphologically, and the cellvars that have distinctive antigenic properties. Prospecting for one strain of a species is designated as a type strain. The type strain is usually one of the first strains studied and it is often more fully characterized than other strains. Prospecting for various approaches by which microbial strains can be manipulated or improved for industrial applications therefore brings to the fore our understanding of two essential and relevant concepts in this regard. These two pertinent concepts are industrial microbiology and biotechnology. Industrial microbiology and biotechnology both involve the use of microorganisms to achieve specific goals, either creating new products with monetary value or improving the environment. Industrial microbiology, as it has traditionally developed, focuses on products such as medical and pharmaceutical compounds, solvents, organic acids, chemical free stocks, amino acids, and enzymes that add direct economic value. Microorganisms employed by industry have been isolated from nature, but in many cases they have been modified using the classic mutation selection procedures, Talara and Talara 2002. But technology in its own regards is a then that has become associated with the modification of microorganisms through the use of molecular biology, including the use of recombinant DNA technology. It is now possible through biotechnology to manipulate genetic information and design products such as proteins or to modify microbial gene expression. In addition, genetic information can be transferred between markedly different groups of organisms, such as between bacteria and plants. Thus, strain improvement is crucial to modern biotechnology. Brown et al. 1987. Identification or creation of industrial microorganisms. The first and decisive task for an industrial microbiologist is to find a suitable microorganism. The suitable microorganism aforementioned is one that is genetic, genetically stable, easy to maintain and grow, and is well suited for the extraction or separation of the desired product. A wide variety of alternative approaches are available in finding the suitable microorganism. This wide variety of alternative approaches ranges from isolating the microorganism from the environment to the use of sophisticated molecular techniques to modify an existing microorganism. Carl 1, 2000. Genetic manipulation of industrial microorganisms. Genetic manipulations are used to produce microorganisms with new and desirable characteristics. The classical methods of microbial genetics play a vital role in the development of cultures for industrial microbiology. Recombination, which also plays a vital role in genetic manipulation of microorganisms, is a one-way process in prokaryotes in which a piece of genetic material called the exogenote is transferred to the chromosome of a recipient cell called the endogenote and it is integrated into it. Recombination usually results in the new arrangement of genes or parts of genes and it is usually accompanied by a phenotypic change, Chaperone 1999. The genetic manipulations of microorganisms in order to obtain strains with new and desirable characteristics can be achieved through the following approaches which are elucidated as follows. Number one, the protoplasm fusion technique. The term protoplasm refers to a bacterial or fungal cell with its cell wall completely removed. The protoplasm is spherical in shape and it is osmotically sensitive. Therefore, Protoplast fusion refers to the process of joining together cells that have had their walls weakened or completely removed. U.S. 1996. 
The postal fusion technique is now widely used with gister mode. Most of these microorganisms are asexual or of a single mating type. Due to this unassailable reason, there is decrease in the chance of random mutation that will lead to strain degeneration. To carry out genetic studies with these microorganisms, protoplasts are first prepared by growing the cells in an isotonic solution and treating them with enzymes including cellulose and beta galactosuronidase. After the protoplasts have been formed, they are then mixed and fused together using polyethylene glycol 6000. The, proto the protoplast fusion products are then regenerated using osmotic stabilizers such as sucrose, Rupa and Zentamine 1998. A major advantage of the protoplast fusion technique is that protoplasts of different microbial species can be fused, even if they are not closely linked taxonomically. A prime example of this is the recent development of mushrooms for thrombosis prevention by protoplast fusion between Lotiporus sulfurus and Lipsizygos mammoros, which has helped to, which has helped to reduce the stem the tide of the disease, which is a major, a major cause of death in Japan and the Western world, Okamura et al. 2005. My table one above shows the protoplast fusion is on organisms to improve processes and products. Like I said earlier, the pro the for in my column one, I have the property of products in two, then I have the microorganisms, I have the microorganisms fused, and I have the protoplast fusion process. The first one I said that, that what I was presenting was development of mushroom for thrombosis prevention. And it, the process involved is the fusion between protoplasts of lateral sulfurs, which is a pastomatitis showing antitrombin activity. And it, is, it, has been, it has been fused with the protoplasts of a colonial mushroom called Ipsizygos mammoros. Then I have another one which is the increased penicillin formation. This is the, through the protoplast fusion between the protoplast of penicillin chrysogenum, which has been inactivated with malachite malachi green. It is then fused to the protoplast of a fusion yeast called Schizosaccharomyces pombi. Source, Okamura et al. 2005. Number two, insertion of short DNA sequences. Short lengths of chemically synthesized DNA sequences can be inserted into recipient microorganisms by a process called site directed mutagenesis. It is, however, pertinent to bring to the fore a brief understanding of this, this chemical synthesized DNA or simply put uh, synthetic DNA. These synthetic DNA are also called oligonucleotides. The word oligonucleotide originated from a Greek word oligo, meaning few or scant. Therefore, oligonucleotides are short pieces of DNA or RNA between 2 and 20 or 30 nucleotides long. Prescott et al. 2005. The side directed mutagenesis method is widely used in the study of protein functions. This method was first developed by Mr. Michael Smith in the University of British Columbia and it was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1993 for this contribution. In the side directed mutagenesis method, an oligonucleotide of about 20 residues with the, that contains the desired sequence change is synthesized. This altered oligonucleotide with the mutated sequence is then allowed to bind to a single standard copy of a complete gene. Then a DNA polymerase is added to the tri uh, gene primer complex. This polymerase extends the, the primer and causes the production uh, uh, and causes the target gene to form a new gene product with the desired mutation. My figure one above illustrates the basic steps in the inside directed mutagenesis method. The basic steps in the inside directed mutagenesis method are one, the cloning of the DNA of interest into a plasmid vector, then two, the, the plasmid DNA is then denatured to form single strands. Then a synthetic DNA oligonucleotide now with the desired mutation is then annealed to the target region. From my figure, figure above, the T to G point mutation has been used as an example. Then there is then an extension of the of the oligonucleotide, of the mutant oligonucleotide, using the plasmid DNA strand as template. Then the heterotuplex strand will then be propagated by transformation into a central product. In theory, about in other propagation, in theory, about 50% of the heterotuplexes are metals, while the remaining 50% 
and the uh, wildfire. That means there is no decision. So, have my team at the The insertion of this short length of chemical synthesizer into any sequence so by entering my process, the recipient my process, by the process of that related with our genesis, has led to a small genetic alteration leading to one change in one of the amino acids of the target protein. These minor changes in amino acids have led to an unexpected change in protein characteristics. And this has produced some products such as more environmentally resistant enzymes and enzymes that catalyze the dry reaction. First of all, 2005. The number three, transfer of genetic information between different organisms. The transfer of the that between different organisms can be achieved through the rapidly developing field of combinatorial biology. Through the process of combinatorial biology, genes are capable of being transferred from one microorganism to another to give the recipient very biological capabilities. This process of artificially introducing foreign genes into microorganisms is termed transmission. Kalala and Kalala 2000. An example of interest is the production of biocin. The bacterial sin in a yeast using wine fermentation for the purpose of controlling wine contaminants. The computational process involved in the transfer of biocin to saccharomyces cerevisia is the expression of the biocin gene called the age. From which is normally found in the biocin as the lactic. It is then transferred to uh, uh, saccharomyces cerevisia to this wine contaminant. Here the expression of different microorganisms has led to an improvement in production efficiency and has also reduced and has also minimized the station steps required for before the process is ready for use. That's why the term 2005. My table 2 have shows the expression of genes in some of these things to improve processes and products. My common one shows the properties of products transferred, the microorganisms used and the combinatorial process. Which resulted in acetone and butanol regulation. So, first quarter, 2005. Transgenic plants may also be used to manufacture large quantities of a variety of metabolic products. One of the most effective techniques of creating a transgenic plant is by shooting a DNA, co uh, DNA coated macro projector into plants. The gene gun, first developed by uh, for, uh, developed at the Cornell University in the United States of America. In the United States of America, operates something like the short gun. This, this, the work of potential is then used to shoot the DNA to the micro projector into the plant cell. And this has led to the improvement of crops that bear foreign genes from microorganisms. An, uh, an example of interest is the development of pest resistant transgenic plants, which have been which are the modified, they produce a, a protein crystal called PT toxin, which, is, which occurs naturally in bacillus to genesis. Another example, another prime example is the transfer of insecticide that goes for, that goes for an insect, a transfer of gene that goes for an insecticide from bacillus to genesis to a strain of pseudomonas fluorescence, Talara Talara 2004. In conclusion, Today's trend improvement can be performed by two alternative strategies. These two strategies or uh, approaches are, uh, include the molecular genetic improvement method and the classical genetic method with mutation. These two approaches can also be used in concert to increase production. It is however visualized that in the near future, genomics, which is the study of the molecular organization of genomes, their information content and the gene products they include will also be applied to industrial strain improvement. Thank you.
A transgenic plant is a plant that has gained new genetic information due to an insertion of a foreign DNA. Comments and questions from the lecturers. So I, I, I think my colleagues will, will just please so I have to take the I think this is our family. <laughs> <laughs> first time I'm doing this in the world of the That's my comment. Well, I think everybody wants to pass comment. I think you're a good ambassador. Oh, and now I'm right. happy that you're one of the scholars. Yes. See, I was telling Madam, I said, no, this is a person we should be proud of. You see, that and the people that are He actually stands out. I was just in my one step drop. He got to present like a postgraduate student. Yes. His presentation is far above what your people are doing. And this goes to show that you should you, you can do it if you believe in yourself. And I said, congratulations, you're a good job. How about that? One thing I just want to advise. Some of those things you were saying, if you can put them in illustrations, you just make your work wonderful. You put the extra work in your record. Thank you very much. I am allowed to make a comment, so why are you making it? Yes, I want to also congratulate you. It was a beautiful presentation, well delivered. And I must say that it was one of the few seminars in this session that I have learned anything. And I also request that please, when you produce your right, so please, I want a copy for my oh, yeah. uh, I have no question to ask you. <laughs> but I also lend my voice to what the earlier uh, speakers have said. And that is in uh, congratulating you on the presentation. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Well, we cannot but commend you for the work well done. You see, you see it's been going to say that we are not here to criticize you unnecessarily. You just have to make comments. When something is good, there is no way you can call it good. And when something is bad, it is bad. So once you say something is good, it is good. When you say it is bad, it is bad. This seminar is a good one. And I'm happy that we are having this all with this type of seminar. Thank you. The remaining, I think there are two or three scholars that are left. Please, I beg you, don't go lower than this one. Are you okay? The stakes are high now. You don't have a choice. And the noise scholars, you can prove better. Yeah, everybody has one head. This is outstanding. You have to see it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.